This is the story of two men and their portrait of a city, a hundred years apart. At the heart of this story is a city, San Francisco, the Paris of the West. As we head down Market Street, its iconic trolley cars zip back and forth, and the bustle of this busy metropolis is evident. This is also the story of a man and his portrait of this city. George Lawrence was born in February of 1868 in Ottawa, Illinois to Margaret Othelia Tritely and Michael B. Lawrence. The eldest of six children, George only obtained an eighth grade education. A natural tinkerer, George quickly found success after moving to Chicago at the age of 20. Following working in a wagon factory, George married Alice Herndon and soon thereafter opened Lawrence Portrait Studio in 1890. He would later advertise, the hitherto impossible in photography is our specialty. Given a commission to photograph a new passenger train, the Alton Limited, George developed the big camera. Weighing in at 1,400 pounds, requiring 15 operators, the camera's bellows extended for 20 feet. Its 8 foot by 4.5 foot images were so large that when submitted to the Paris Exposition of 1900, judges ruled them fake. George was also recognized as the father of flashlight photography. His photography would also take him to new heights as he helped establish the field of aerial photography. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
After the ruin, many photographers documented this immense disaster. Some, such as Lester Guernsey, used panoramic photography to capture the scope of this devastation. George Lawrence continued to document things in his own way, bringing his aerial photography to San Francisco. Having given up blimps due to a previous accident, George Lawrence began using kite aerial photography. His captive airship shown here along with this large panoramic camera were suspended under a train of upwards of seven conine kites. Flying the kites and camera at over 2,000 feet above San Francisco, Lawrence captured some of the most beautiful and haunting images of the ruins. This photograph captured high above San Francisco Bay is considered by many to be the iconic image of the 1906 earthquake and fire. Its massive scale gives the viewer a glimpse into detail from the relief ships at the ferry terminal to the troops stationed nearby. The clarity of this image conceals the conditions under which it was taken. Historian Beaumont Newhall describes the event. It was raining and the cable became wet the shutter would not obey his command, and for a while it seemed that his bold project was doomed to failure. But the sun suddenly came out, dried the cable, and from an altitude of 2,000 feet, the camera recorded a panorama of the entire extent of the ruined city.